Hey, what's up stream keepers and welcome back to my channel. And in today's topic, I want to talk to you guys about uh, genetics uh, using Boa as an example. Uh, and before we jump straight right into the uh, topic, I wanted to give a special shout out to uh, Seller, uh, Alexander Seller. I think he is based in uh, Serbia and he has been following my channel and we have been talking for quite some time. Um, and in one of the last uh, comments that he provided in the, the video, uh, he wanted to, you know, enhance his, uh, his, his time in, in terms of uh, saving a lot of saving time uh, in terms of his uh, water changes because uh, in the past he takes about two hours to actually do his water changes and he's very, you know, very interested to actually reduce his time uh, to do the water changes. So I, uh, I written a blog on how I, I do my you know semi-automated uh, water change with without even drilling the the tank with holes and uh, and he was quite skeptical at, at the beginning but uh, eventually when he when I encouraged him you know I asked him to try it, uh, with one tank first and then eventually uh, it, it worked for him and now he's uh, he's really he, he's really thankful that he actually started it and uh, he would say that you know based on his feedback it's uh, at least 50 percent of time safe uh, in terms of water change so as you progress onto the hobby when you have more and more tanks i think that is one of the things that we 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 do not want to um, add on as well as in you know as we add more tanks we do not want to add more time to actually maintain more tanks so if we can actually help to reduce the time in terms of maintaining the tank i think that will actually benefit uh, everybody and one of the reasons is because you know time is finite uh, everybody's time is finite everybody has 24 hours in a day so it is really really critical that you know um, we try to improve our own our own uh, timing so so that way uh, we can actually uh, allocate more time to, to things that we actually are uh, that matters right so regardless whether you change water uh, for 10 minutes or two hours at the end of the day it is the, the whole idea, the whole concept is just to remove water and to replenish the water and, and that, uh, if that can be done within you know minutes, I think that will be awesome right for, for uh, a lot of tanks. So uh, special shout out to you and uh, you know uh, please continue to, to, to watch my videos and then I will keep sharing all this uh, great information with you guys. So in today's topic, I want to talk to you guys about the, uh, the Bois and uh, genetics. <clears throat> so I understand that there has been a lot of uh, questions around, you know, uh, genetic stability and how do I actually get uh, more uh, stable streams. I, I think uh, currently in, in the marketplace where, where we have uh, a lot of um, streams that are still relatively unstable in the sense that they don't actually uh, breed very true However, you know, uh, in, in the stream industry, uh, there, there has been a lot of ways or method to actually um, reduce the probability of you guys actually breeding through uh, so that, you know, the, the, the people who, who controls the, 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 the breeding stock will actually continue to actually sell. Uh, however, you know, uh, I think uh, in terms of genetics standpoint for example in boas in, in bfts and, and so on and so forth um i wanted to you know take this opportunity to share uh that there is a a difference uh between for example if you are going to have uh, if you're going to purchase a, a, a boa you wanted to start a, a breeding colony a boa that is um bred true or you can say that there is a, a way to actually breed them and then there is another way that actually you know you uh, you mass breed them, and and what is the difference? And I I understand that that it is uh, quite unclear. However, uh, in this video you actually you know at the end of this video you can actually uh, really understand the difference between uh, the two systems or the two processes or breeding processes, and then you can then decide you know. Uh, um, which route you actually want to, to go. Uh, one of the reasons is because uh, one will be more expensive than the other and however there's no one best way of, of doing things. There's no definite answer when it comes to ge um, uh, stream genetics. And for the first uh, way or the first breeding process which I call it the you know the, the, the pure system which means that for example if you 
uh, ask a breeder, you know, if this line is being bred through or is being bred using boas and boas. Uh, then usually if they, they you know usually the breeders should actually share all this information for example uh, if you have a boa and boa uh, bred out the streamlets that are boa then you know that system or that process has higher genetics probability for a boa offspring however there's another method of doing it is that you know uh, to mass, mass breed them meaning that for example you have a boa male uh, and you have a large amount of uh, stardust female and that way you know the offsprings may come out with boas however the genetics uh, build up of those on, on that second uh, process is much different from the first process right uh, however you know the first process which is boa and boa this is going to take a lot more time uh, as the the refinement of the, uh, the the streams is going to be much more difficult, so usually for this uh, process, this first breeding process, that will actually uh, be more expensive in terms of uh, streams. And one of the reasons is because the uh, the the time taken to actually reach that level of you know boa and boa crossing out, and then from there you select. Uh, having boas and then you do a cross back and, and so on and so forth that takes a lot of time so that that piece uh, is, is more uh, expensive and of course they are more, uh, usually they are nicer in, in, in colors than patterns and size because they are selectively bred for pedigree for for quality uh, standpoint however on the other on the other side we actually talk about However, on the other side, uh, we actually have the uh, you know the boa males and uh, the stardust females, and that way, we actually you know uh, have lesser uh, probability of getting a boa. However, from that mass, you know, because there there will be a lot of stardust females uh, involved in that breeding uh, uh, process, uh, and then they will then select you know uh, the the boas that that look alike. So so those those. Uh, process will the the outcome of the uh, the boas will not have the same genetic build up as as the the first process and and usually in this process you know uh, that will be a more affordable way of getting the boa genetics however you know uh, it is in, in my opinion I don't think that uh, if for example if we do select a very nice uh, boa streamlets from those colony, uh, those breeding uh, colony to actually sell like the, uh, the, the, the first process, uh, first breeding process. And one of the reasons is because the, the genetics build up is different and uh, it is really up to the uh, breeder or the source to actually share with you this information. And this is actually a, a, a very important information uh, for, for any, any um, breeders who actually purchase the stream, streams. And because that will also determine, you know, at the end of the day, the, the probability of, of the uh, boas that come out from, from the streamlets. And although there, there is no, you know, absolute numbers in terms of uh, having more boas in, in, in one of or the other, however, the, 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 the whole idea here is to actually build up the probability uh, of true selective breeding and I think that is uh, the, the critical point here and uh, and often you know what I've seen in the in the in the, in the market is that uh, there has been cross pollination of this uh, selling which means that out of this uh, mass breeding project they actually take out this very nice meal and saying that you know we have this uh, boss and then they, they try to to upsell it and then after uh, you know three months six months later when when the streamlets actually do grow big again from the F1s uh, then the breeders will come back and say that hey the, the breeders that purchase the streams will come back and, and, and say that you know um, there isn't any any boa in, 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 in it so so I think uh, there will be uh, expectation I think uh, most importantly if let's say you are going to venture into uh, boas or BFDs or, or any of the streams you know that are currently like uh, still unstable or still unable to get you know uh, like like even or uh, stable lineage then I think it is important to actually share 
your concerns with the breeders, the breeders should also uh, be, be very open and transparent in terms of the breeding process and also very transparent in terms of the, the, the probability because nobody can actually gauge or uh, guarantee like for example if there's uh, your orange eye or your orange eye purple king kong you know uh, there isn't a, 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 a true probability right now of uh, how you know how your streamless is going to turn out to because <clears throat> There's really no way you can actually uh, guarantee unless the, the stream has been stable. For example, if you want to have Black King Kong, normal Black King Kong, right? Then yes, definitely there will be Black King Kong coming out. So I think the, the probability for that is, is very high is because the stream has already been stabilized and it's already well known in the market. It Many people have bred it and, and that and that level of uh, probability can can be safely said but for streams that are not stable at this point of time like for example the boas the, the uh, orange eye purple king kong you know purple is not a color that is is uh that can actually breed through to, to the next generation so uh ideally breeders don't usually sell in terms of the the, the way that they uh that the the probability of, of the of the outcome of the stream that's for example uh, if it's unstable, then you cannot actually uh, not not say you cannot, but it, it, it wouldn't be right to actually say uh, the streamless will actually come out with a hundred percent purple uh, because it is unstable in the first place. If it's stable, then there wouldn't be such a you know a, a variation in terms of the purple because purple in, in this sense is is not uh, stable at this point of time. However, uh, just like the boas, you can. Uh, Normally, people wouldn't sell in terms of probability. They wouldn't say that, okay, uh, you will have like 80% of probability that you will get boas in, in that. So I think that is uh, something that is, uh, I think we have to set the expectation, right? Uh, in terms of the, uh, the probability and genetics. Because one of the things about genetics is that there is no guarantee uh, unless it is stable already there is even if it's stable sometimes there will still be some variation but uh, for unstable you know when, when streams are the, the genetics is still unstable unstable then uh, it is it is uh, more and more difficult to actually gauge or determine uh, uh, what the outcome will be so I think that is also one of the reasons why you know it is so fun in terms of the uh, breeding uh, breeding process however I think uh, breeders shouldn't capitalize in this and shouldn't upsell or you know cross pollinate those uh, two breeding cycles uh, or two breeding processes uh, together and should be kept separated uh, this will actually provide the uh, the end user or the the, the the people who actually purchase the stream the uh, the correct information the correct expectation and the, the quality of the streams as well so for example if you get the streams the uh, the boas for uh, ten dollars on one hand and then the other one for one dollar so i think we have to be uh cognizant about the 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 time that is taken for for the, pro the first process to actually uh complete and then of course the second process to actually uh, complete as well so the the first process like i've mentioned it, it takes a lot more time a lot more effort a lot more streams to actually get to that stage however it is also more difficult because as genetics build up, as genetics narrow uh, towards the, the tail end of it, it gets more and more difficult to breed. <coughs> it also gets more and more difficult to, uh, to, to have uh, streamless and, and eggs. And, and that is one of the things that I think this kind of expectation should be set up front. You know, uh, because if you want very, very nice streams and you want it to be very selectively bred at the end, it will get more and more difficult. However, to counter that is to actually introduce uh, new blood into the system, uh, introduce new blood into the colony, then you will then start to wash the, the genetics and to have a new genetic build up uh, in, in, in that colony. So for the second process, it's usually uh, easier in that sense is because um, the genetics build up is, is much wider. Um, however, as we start to move closer and closer again, you know, moving to the, the, the first way of doing uh, breeding, then it will take more and more time to, to do so. So I hope uh, you have got some information in from this video and some uh, idea 
of what you should expect in terms of genetics um, using boy as, a, as, an, as an example however you know this can also apply to a lot of this uh, crossbreeding uh, streams that is crossbred um, however those that are stable then generally they will remain stable as long as you don't mix the streams uh, around so thank you guys for watching and uh, if you have any questions you know feel free to to ask and uh, feel free to comment below and if you have any topics that you wish to actually learn more about please let me know and until next time peace out